So this is what we'll be making today. It's some amazing looking geometric patterns and it's by following the simplest rules that's literally just multiplication. So we'll get into that shortly. There'll be a link to the code if you wanna get that straight away in the description. Otherwise you can open up a code editor and we can code along together. There's also a great video by Mathologer that goes way more in depth into all the maths behind this. And I really urge you to check that video out after this one because it's inspired this video today. So be sure to check them out. Let's get into it. The way this effect works is we take a circle and around it we place a bunch of points and we give each of these points a number. So we start with zero, one, two, three, all the way around until every point around the circle has a number. We then take another number, which we'll call M, and we multiply each of these points with that value M, and we draw a line between that starting point and whichever point corresponds to the result of multiplying that first point by M. And we just go around the whole circle and draw a line between the point and the result of the multiplication. The first thing we're actually going to do for this in terms of code is to write a little helper function. And this will give us the angle between one of these points around the outside and the center of the circle. So in this, we're just passing in I, which is the number corresponding to which point we would like, and then the number of points in total. And we're simply dividing tau, which is the full 360 degrees, but in radians by the number of points we've got and multiplying it by the specific point that we want. Next, we're going to draw the circle on the screen. And as you can see, there's more than just the circle function going on here. I've also called translate, which will move the origin of the screen from the top left corner to the middle in this case, because we've given it width on two and height on two. And this will just help us a bit later on when we're drawing all the lines. We've actually seen this before in the L systems video. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. I've also bumped up the stroke weight to a size of two, just so you can see the outlines a bit better. And when we run this, we see that we get a circle right in the middle of the screen and I've given it a diameter of the width. So it takes up the full canvas. Next, we're gonna make the draw lines function. And this is what's gonna do the heavy lifting of actually drawing all of our lines and calculating where they need to be on the screen. As you can see, it takes in an N value, which is how many points around the outside of the circle and an M value, which is the number that we'll be multiplying by. The first thing I've got in here is just the radius of our circle, which is the width divided by two. Then we loop over all of the values between zero and N, which is the number of points around the outside and store it in an I variable. And this I variable represents the point around the circle that we are starting our line from. We then multiply this point by our M value to get a second point around the outside. And we're storing this in a value called J. Next, we use that helper that we made at the start to get the angle between our first point around the outside and the center of the screen. And we do the same thing for the J value. So we've now got two angles to two different points around our circle. We can then use these angles to our two different points to figure out exactly the X and Y location on the screen that they are. And as you can see here, we're just passing in this angle into the cos and the sine function to get our X and Y, and we're multiplying that by the radius of our circle. We're doing this for the angle between the center of the circle and the I position and also to the J position. And this will get us our two points and we're drawing a line between each of them. Now we've got that function, we can actually use it to draw our lines on the screen. So in the draw function, after we've drawn the circle on the screen, I'm calling the draw lines function. And for the number of points around the outside of the circle, I've just hard coded in 200 at the moment, but this is something that you can definitely make interactive and play around with yourself. I've then also calculated what the number we're multiplying by is based on the mouse X position. So I'm mapping the mouse X between zero and the width of the screen to be between two and nine. So that means if the mouse is at the left hand side of the screen, we're only multiplying by two. And as we move it across, it'll get bigger and bigger up till nine. I'm also converting it to an integer. So we're always multiplying by a whole number, but you can get some pretty cool effects if you leave it as a floating point number and keep the decimals in. So also play around with that. And when we run this, you can see we're getting these awesome geometric patterns on the circle. And it's crazy to think that this is simply just multiplication. There's so many different things that you can do with this. So be sure to check out the code down below and have a play around with it yourself. Some ideas off the top of my head would be to play around with colors because at the moment, obviously it's only black and white. You can also play around with it being floating point numbers, like I said, and see what sort of effects you get that way. And also play around with how you're figuring out the number of points around the outside and the number that you're multiplying by. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out.
I'm also very happy to take suggestions, so if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see me try in the future, leave it down in the comments below. See you next time.